up guys, it's Tublitz here and welcome to another episode of Eden Dalma Vendera. Okay, today it is a healer guide. I'm gonna try and teach you everything I know and hope uh, that it is helpful. Okay, so yeah, let's go from the top. Okay, Adzu is one of the best classes, or, or one of the best healers for me. Uh, its healing isn't very good, uh, like the other classes healings. But basically this is the only uh, healing class that has good amount of healing as well as uh, removing buffs. So I personally like it. Also if you awaken him, you... Uh, let, me, let me show you something. Okay, if you wear an awaken weapon, you have this skill, healing zone. And over here, it's... Uh, yeah, that's very good. Also your healings are doing um, five percent more. Uh, yeah, what I use here is much critical rate. Even if I would like to make it twenty. Yeah, yeah. You basically don't want to increase wisdom. You want to increase much critical rate to fifteen, and then you increase wisdom and the healing to fifteen. This defense isn't very good. Casting speed, yes, it's very nice. Also, this is very nice. And yes, this wisdom is it's good. Yeah, you want uh, this healing master for maximize the healings. And the rest, wisdom, some casting speed also, critical rate. Yeah, that's what I use for this class at least. Okay, then we have the... No, that's not a healing. Okay, then we have totem master. Oh, what the... Yeah, Grace Totem is very nice because it uh, heals a lot. Also, reduces damage taken for 3%. It's very nice. Also, Totem Surge um, deals 3% more damage or your skills and your allies, of course. And totem, uh, Time Totem reduces the movement speed and the attack speed. That's very nice for boss. It's a nice debuff. Um, yeah, you want the healing to maximize. And also you want some casting speed and critical rate. Also you want this one to increase the movement speed. And if you have the holy skill, you get another uh, 10 I think, or whatever. Yeah, 15. Oh, uh, I don't have the, yeah, you want to have this one. Yeah, you see, it reaches through 5. It's very nice. Um, yeah, you also want a healing master here. Yeah, because I have a lot of magic resistance, I haven't put the other one. See where it is, where it is. This one. But, that's okay. Okay, then we have Sage. Okay, uh, Holy Sage, you want basically to. Yeah, it depends. Like, you may basically want to have this aura for healing and restoring the MP of your teammates. But when a skill is going to come, it's gonna hit. You basically want to change for this one to remove all the damage taken. That's very nice. And then change back to aura. But it's very hard, so basically d just uh, have this aura, a blessing a prophet, and when everything is maxed, all your teammates MP is maxed, just change to, to protection. Also you want to have the grace on, when, uh, yeah, when a teammate, like, you just hit, and uh, when a teammate or yourself uh, gets a debuff, you just change, and press the, the engine purify and then uh, just change again because you want to have the damage dealt reduced it's very nice um, like this, like this. yeah that's also very nice because uh, you can uh, uh, put it on your tank and you basically heal him uh, faster and this is very, very nice to have right and uh, final oh no no, this isn't a healer. Mm, 
yeah, what I use for this one is those. I want to be a little bit <coughs> tankier because you are pretty much close to the to the enemy. Also, your healing doesn't really matter because if you if you are using a, a holy sage, basically you want to be a tank, a debuffer and a tank. So yeah, th just this one is pretty pretty much what you want to do. Yeah, you see, I don't have casting speed because you don't need to have casting speed in this class. Uh, yeah, physical resistance for PvP. Yeah, that's okay. Some wisdom. Of course, maximum HP. Yeah, you could possibly put some damage. Yeah, uh, also, what I use for when I'm using a healer is basically those Holy Temporal Divine Protection and Holy Templar Healing Spirit. Uh, it's very nice to have. It is from Cop, Gate of Pandemonium. It's basically one of the best the accessories to have. Also, I have this one, Luchis, for necklace, and for ring, I have the Luchis, and I'm gonna get uh, sometime soon the other one. Yeah, Luchis uh, on the Cop is the has the best uh, healing accessories and trophies. Yeah, I think this trophy isn't from Lutzis, I think it's from uh, from the first boss, you know, the one that heals itself. Um, yeah, what else I want to show you? Yeah, I use some uh, uh, Wisdom Stones, it's very nice. Also, I have a Clarity, a Conversion Heal Gem, here I want to put some... Uh, Lightning. I don't remember the, the exact name, but it uh, has some uh, wisdom and luck. It is very nice. Oh my God, I don't remember the name. And, and lighting, lighting. I, I think it's a lighting or something like that. And then we have justice and nothing here. Yeah, what I use because I play a lot of Time Master, I use this one, this maze, so that the healing is 15% more from the rain. And here you get some uh, wisdom, which is very nice. Also, I have some other. Let me show you. Okay, also, I'm using, if I'm using, uh, yeah, I have this one your attacks but this is only for out I use this for out this one with here it is with this one so these two are very nice for out at least yeah but you could also have some uh, armor reducing trophies but this is very nice to help your teammates if the boss is kind of hard or something I also have uh, one accessory to reduce damage when I'm using the out yeah, this one. That's, that's basically okay. Um, yeah, that's what I want to show you guys. Hey, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, see you guys. Bye bye.